Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me on this lovely May 26th day. It's time for Cindy in the News. The 17 year cicadas are set to emerge this year and they will be coming out in Southwest Virginia, West Virginia and parts of North Carolina. There will be about 1.5 million of them coating the streets making it difficult to drive and screaming from the trees. Awesome. I love cicadas. National treasure Betty White is reportedly doing fine during quarantine and has said that she has made life at home as peaceful as possible. She turned 98 in January and told Closer Weekly, I am blessed with incredibly good health. She says to the world that the pandemic is mother's nature way of telling us to slow down and enjoy what we have, family, friends, and our pets. Native American burial sites have been blown up for the U.S. border, starting at Arizona's Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument in controlled blasts. Democratic Congressman Raul Grijalvi said the discretion is sacrilegious. The government did not consult with the Tohono Odom Nation before working on the 43-mile-long, 30-foot-tall steel barrier. Environmental groups say this will be disastrous to the underground aquifer as well as to migrating wildlife in the remote desert region. This all began on February 10th before the pandemic began and as we all know the destruction of Native American burial sites usually leads to curses. Coincidence? Hmm. Meanwhile, the WHO has stopped hydroxychloroquine trials over safety concerns. Studies have repeatedly found that the drug does more harm than good. The medical journal The Lancet has reported last Friday that patients taking hydroxychloroquine were dying at higher rates than other coronavirus patients. Trump's economic advisor, Kevin Hassett, has referred to the working class as human capital stock and claimed that they are ready to get back to work. We don't have our capital stock hasn't been destroyed. Our human capital stock uh, is uh, ready to get back to work. He said this during CNN State of the Union uh, address on Sunday. It is unclear what he meant by calling us human capital stock, or further commented on his implication that we are but fodder for the capitalistic machine in the dystopia we now find ourselves in. The CDC has once again clarified. That the virus's main form of admission is not from surfaces but from person to person. While it can live on surfaces anywhere from a few hours to several days, it, depending on the surface, it is mostly passed through droplets when another infected person sneezes, coughs, or talks at a close range, even if they are not showing symptoms. So make sure you put on those masks to protect your fellow man from yourself. And as you go about your day, think of this question posed by Anthony Burgess in A Clockwork Orange. Is it better for a man to have chosen evil or to have good imposed upon him? We hit a major milestone today. At 11.51 a.m. we hit 100,000 deaths. Our current count is... 1,717,552 U.S. cases with 100,269 U.S. deaths. And finally, just as the monkeys of Thailand have come out in swarms hungry due to the lack of people to feed them, so have America's rats. The CDC has warned of unusual or aggressive behavior in American rats as a result of the pandemic and the quarantine. Without dumpsters full of food or restaurants to fill their bellies, they have resorted to cannibalism and infanticide of their young. But remember, tomorrow is all like sweet flowers and the turning Vani earth and the stars and the old Luna up there and all that cow. This has been Cindy in the News. Don't forget to like and subscribe.